Hey guys, this is Chris from Weebly Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to install any font into your Weebly site. This video will follow the step-by-step -step written tutorial on Weebly Tricks. And I will post a link um, to the step-by-step -step written tutorial in the description of this video. Alright, let's begin. Step 1. Change paragraph titles, paragraph text to default. Go to your Weebly site. And we're going to go to change fonts. I'm oh, sorry, we're going to theme at the top. Click on change fonts. Under general on the left, you see paragraph titles. Click on the font, and you're going to set it to default, which it already is. Paragraph text, same thing. And default. All right. Step two, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Back to the Weebly editor. You're going to click on theme at the top. And then on the bottom left, you're going to click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And this will open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Step three, upload your font to Weebly. All right, on the left here, under assets, um, I've already uploaded the font we'll be using. The specific, the specific font we'll be using is Good Times, regular, and all you have. To, and I would recommend creating a folder. So under Assets, click New Folder. If you don't already have, if you don't, hold on, if you don't already have a folder named Fonts under Assets, then just click on Assets. Or, all right, hold on, hold on a sec. And then, so click on assets, click on new folder, and then call that folder fonts. But since we already have one, so, there we go. Sorry about that. Since we already have a fonts, uh, a folder named fonts, um, we just we just simply uploaded the font file to this folder, and this is the name of the font after we've uploaded it. Step four, add CSS coding. In order to allow your Weebly theme to pull in this uploaded font, we need to add some CSS coding. All right, so copy the coding from step four. Go back to your Weebly editor. And you're gonna click on your CSS file which for this theme is main.less. If you're using a uh, generation three or prior Weebly theme, your CSS file will be named main-styles, style or styles.css. And if you're using a Weebly four generation theme, your CSS file will be named main.less. Uh, and so you can see that we're using a Weebly four generation theme. Therefore, our CSS file is named main.less. So click on that CSS file. Then we're going to paste font or CSS code in there. If this red dot appears, just delete that. All right, and to continue with step four, we need to add a few things here. So for the coding for step four, we need to add the name of the font file we uploaded, as well as the, f the file path of the font file we've uploaded. So going back to Weebly Editor, under Font Family, you're going to say. So this particular one is good times. Just yeah. And the source file is it's in assets, but it's in a folder named fonts. So what we have to do is we have to target. So we type in target fonts, folder fonts first, forward slash. Um, the file path, the, I'm sorry, the file name of our font, which is right here. We will copy that. And back to our CSS file. And paste that right in there. So we have fonts forward slash goodtimesrg.ttf. All right, from there we click save. 
phone. Yeah, okay. Let's click C. Right. And step five, apply the font to text of your choosing. So I head back to the Weebly editor. For this particular theme, we want um, the custom font we uploaded to be applied to just the H2 or the or what's commonly known as the title element, which is this uh, text right here that's, that says premium collection. And you can see there's a few of them down here. So, to ch so we're gonna apply that to the H2. Click on theme, we need to, so we need to access the Weebly editor again, click on theme, edit HTML forward slash CSS in the bottom left. And most Weebly sites already have the H2 CSS code. I'm sorry. Access your CSS file. Click on your CSS file. So for this one, it's main.ls. So um, because we want to change the title, the title text, we need to change the H2 tag. Those, those two are correlated. So most Weebly themes already come with the H2 CSS code within the CSS file. This one does not. So we're just going to add it. So we do that. We just do H2. Curly bracket, curly bracket. We type font, family, semicolon, good times. Right? Click save. And you can see down here our, our title tag, our H2 tag, same thing, has changed to the custom font file we've uploaded to Weebly. You can see it's changed here, 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 and so on and so forth. All right, guys, and that is how you install any font into your Weebly site.